Hello, this is Darko from Hada Televisia. In this video, I will share with you settings after calibration of LG's 42LB670V LCD TV for 2014. I'll open menus and in picture submenu, I've selected Expert 1. You can apply these settings also to Expert 2. They are the same in their default values. Going to picture adjust, you see settings here, so you can adjust backlight depending on your, your viewing environment and leave other settings like this. Going to expert control, I've increased gamma to 2.4 and disabled edge enhancer, which doesn't do much, but I want to reduce as much artificial sharpening, especially for HD content. Going to white balance, first adjustments for two points for low values, so darker area. And now going to high. So you see settings here. Now changing method to 20 points. Let's go with 10%, 20, no changes for 30, okay, let's see, 40, uh, increased threads, okay. Now changes for 50. Also not for 60. No changes for 70, great. Eighty clean. and 100 no changes okay so you can copy all these settings regarding white balance using this command apply to all inputs and then TV will copy it to all inputs and you can have balanced picture in different modes okay going back Let's see color management system. So we'll start with red. You will see values here, saturation, tint and luminance, red, then green, then blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Okay. You cannot copy these settings to other inputs, so you need to write them down on paper or somewhere and then apply. Okay, let's go back to, to picture options. Okay, so for Blu-ray and HD content you should disable this. Black level if you're using Blu-ray source, set the box or anything else you put it too low for PC. This may be disabled, but you should check how black level look. If it's more gray than black, then you should adjust this black level setting. Local dimming, I suggest using it at low or medium setting. You should try it. It really improves black level and contrast, so play with this setting. True motion, if you want pure 24 Hz experience, you can go with clear, clear plus which will darken the scene or user user with following configurations if you want soap opera effect sure you can increase this but if you want pure 24p reproduction you just increase the blur option 
Okay, going back. For best sharpness, you adjust, should adjust aspect ratio to just scan. Also, as a bonus, if you are bothered with darkening, with global darkening of picture, you need to change HDMI input name to PC. So I'm showing you how to do this. You go to all inputs and then you choose edit and here you select PC. This will disable true motion algorithm, but you will get more consistent performance. That's it. Thank you for watching and see you in some other videos soon. Bye.